Wars Episode 7 now just about two months away. Many people have been speculating when a new trailer may drop, since it has been nearly six months since the previous trailer. Well, according to a story in Star Wars 7 News, the day for the new trailer will be October 19th. The outlet claims to have a source that has verified the information. Christian and Mark, do you believe that October 19th is the new date that the Star Wars Episode 7 trailer will finally be revealed? Well, first things first, if Ray made that graphic, Graphic that Lucasfilm should hire him uh, because that is an amazing graphic that uh, was put together. <laughs> it's a there. beautiful piece it of re- art. It really is. Um, as far as Star Wars Seven News dot com goes, they are really good with reporting scoops, gathering information. We we reference them all the time on Jedi Council. So I do I do believe that their source is probably accurate, and I also think that it makes sense. We've been speculating on this forever. Last time it was me, you, Schnapp, and Campia on Jedi Council, so we were saying. When will this trailer drop? And you made a great point to where you're going to have the ticket sales drop around the same time. So it would make sense. A great marketing tool. If you drop that earlier this morning and then, hey, guess what? You like that trailer? Now you can buy tickets for the movie. Rebels Season 2 also premieres around the same time. Uh, You also have It's Fall. JJ said we were getting a fall release. And the fact that it is six months, and I know that if Campio was here, he he was saying that it was a little too early to drop it in April. I don't agree with that. I think that the marketing for this movie has been perfect. I really do. And I and as a as a Star Wars fan, I wish we could have gotten the trailer about two three months ago. But I understand why they're doing it, and it's going to make sense. It's building anticipation, and yeah, I think this is going to be the date for the trailer. Now, having said that, that might not be the date that you get to see your first new glimpse of Star Wars footage, because like you said, Christian, Rebels comes out the week before. It premieres on Disney XD, so maybe there's going to be like a like a TV spot, right. or maybe even like during Sunday Night Football or something, a lot of eyeballs are going to be on the day before the 19th. They run a TV spot, because we're getting into that time now where we're less than, or we're a little over two months away, but by then it's going to be exactly two months. So you start seeing TV ads typically with movies. Star Wars isn't a typical movie. They don't market it like any other film. As soon as we saw the trailer at Celebration, we were speculating as to when we're going to get to see the next one. It makes so much sense to have the tickets go on sale. Then immediately after the tickets go on sale, you have a new trailer. And then at the end of the trailer, you say, buy tickets here. What I'm a little surprised at, though, is that it's not on, it's not Friday because Bridge of Spies comes out. Uh, Well, actually, no, you know what? The front it comes out next week, doesn't it? Bridge of Spies. Bridge of Spies comes out next week. Next week, so it does make sense that so this Monday, when I'm trying to figure it was some. It's not this Monday. No, it would still be Bridge of Spies. Still comes out a week early, but but well, you know what I'm saying though, because Bridge of Spies is still run by Disney right now with Dreamers. So I thought that maybe to give it a little extra push. I know that doesn't matter because it's going to blow up on the internet anyway. But I just thought maybe to give Bridge of Spies that extra push, they would put it there. If we were in the early 2000s, I would totally agree with you because it was a big event. The fact that a Star Wars trailer was attached to meet Joe Black or Monsters Inc. or The Incredibles. Right. But here, because they know it's going to blow up on the internet, and that number means everything. Even Star Wars themselves at Celebration bragged about how much the trailer's already blown up just in a weekend. So that's the number that they're counting, because that's also how you buy tickets, yeah. is you go online. You don't see the movie preview in a theater and then go buy tickets out in the lobby. You do it online.